Greetings and welcome everyone. We are back with the second agricultural production factor and this is labor. So we're going to discuss labor as an agricultural production factor. If you are new to this channel, please press that subscribe button. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thank you so much for your support. I wouldn't be here without you. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's get to it. What are we talking about when we are talking about labor? So basically, um, labor is a term that refers to the physical and mental activities of work that workers render in order to be remunerated, right? So these are efforts, physical and mental efforts performed in return of remuneration right which is in form of wages or even salaries right so this includes now in agriculture this includes um farm workers who are paid um monthly salaries and also um wages so the difference between salaries and wages salaries refer to monthly payments and then wages may refer to daily or even weekly payment right so the, these farm workers are paid in exchange of their work right so there are basically two types of labor right the we have full-time or permanent or what we call fixed labor and we also have part-time or we also refer this to um, temporary labor right so all these types of laborers now work different hours and have different benefits so let's 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 look at these so we've got full-time workers right or full-time laborers so the full-time laborers work the ordinary 48 hours per week right then they will get um their monthly payments obviously salaries right then we've got part-time workers um the part-time laborers will work less than the ordinary hours then we've got seasonal workers or seasonal laborers then they work during a peak period for instance during harvesting then we've got temporary workers which work for a particular task or as a substitute for a permanent staff. Then we've got casual laborers who have no job security and will work less than 24 hours a month, right? Then we've got um, various problems that may be associated with labor in agriculture, right? For instance, um, skills shortages right, will lead to lower productivity and will limit the use of technology right so if the the farm laborers are poorly educated or they lack training then this may lower the production of the farm right so the farm workers should have a variety of skills to perform different tasks and to complement one another at um certain times and also another problem may be labor shortages which will also lead to um the reduction of production right um and this um may be also resulted to poor working conditions and um, low wages or even low salaries or even um the law of incentives so this may reduce the labor so this may cause shortage to um, labor so if there are poor working conditions in an area no one will want to stay in that farm right and also if they are low um, wages or salaries um, this may lead to lower production because it will sh um, shorten the staff right um, and also competition with industry might be um, who might be providing, um, let's say, attractive salaries. This may reduce your staff, right? And again, um, another, another negative impact 
um, can be HIV and AIDS, the negative effect of HIV and AIDS, right? Now, this particular disease may, if, may affect the, the, the production of fat. Um, let's say if laborers now get sick and they are not able to... Um, to come to work, then that can be negatively um, impacted. And also poor labor management can be also another problem. So farmers are not always trained as managers. Now, a lack of management skills um, such as supervision can also lead to less productive workers. So you need to be to have good management skills so that you can lead your team very well. And also another problem that can be associated with labor in agriculture uh, can be competition from other sectors. So industry usually pay higher wages than farmers, right? And now this causes um, skilled farm workers to look for work in industries to attain better living conditions. So farmers, we need to do better. We need to do better. And also exploitation of farmers or farm workers farm laborers. So in, in some farms, farm laborers may be exploited due to ignorance and also not knowing their rights, um, like basic conditions of services, uh, what the minimum wages is, and also these can um, be problems that can be associated. And also um, some um, farmers, uh, farm owners or managers who may still have the racist attitude, right, um, to farm workers. This can have a negative impact. This can be one of the problems that would be associated with labor in agriculture, right? Now, how do we increase labor productivity so the productivity is basically measured by the production output of the labor force in relation to money that is paid for wages and salaries during that specific period as a result the, it is um, important to organize labor in such a way that labor time is not wasted on the daily basis so we therefore um need to manage labor carefully right so how do we make sure that we increase the productivity of labor right let's look at it um now appropriate wages and fair conditions stipulated in the contract can improve um labor productivity um the physical aspects of the farm as well um, need to be well planned so that the farm workers do not waste time moving from production sector to another living quarters should be um, separate and but at the same time they should be easily accessible then in terms of supervision um, control and monitoring of performance against production those targets um, help to increase labor productivity and also incentives can be built in for the targets achieved right so there should also be daily activities which uh, need to be planned and tasks should also be delegated right now this will ensure that the workers know what is expected of them then a skills development program need to be planned after a skills audit has been carried out so the skills workers are more productive than unskilled ones, right? Then we've got um, the other thing that, the other method that we can employ to increase productivity is effective mechanization. Now, appropriate use of machinery can boost worker productivity by providing them tools to do their jobs effectively and efficiently, right? Then the budget for each aspect of, uh, of the business must be planned to keep expenses low. 
then the last one um planning of the production processes each step in the production process must be planned and short medium or even long-term goals need to be set communicated to the workers and also they need to be monitored so this will help to boost um productivity then coming to the the labor uh, legislation right of um, the labor legislation acts in south africa so we've got various acts that um that assist or that are put in place in order to ensure that um the farmers and also workers are protected Right. So we've got the Occupational Health and Safety Act. So this addresses the safety of workers in the workplace. It enforces training of workers to who operate machinery and wearing of protective gear while at work. Then we've got the Labor uh, Relations Act. Now these regulate the relationship between employers and employees. Right. It addresses aspects like the right to strike. Um, labor dispute procedures and how to deal with unfair labor practices, right? And then we've got basic conditions of employment act. So this ensure that workers are treated fairly. It also addresses aspects like payment methods, um, minimum wages, working hours, overtime, leave, termination of employment, and so on and so forth. Then we've got Compensation for Occupational Injuries and Disease Act, which states that workers must be compensated if injured or get sick while on duty. Then we've got the Skills Development Act. Now, um, this particular act is managed by the Department of Labor and it actually um, aims to develop and improve workforce skills and employers receive a refund if they train their workers right then we've got the employment equity act which ensures that there is no workplace discrimination uh, based on race religion gender sexual orientation and dis disability right then we've got the broad-based black economic act now um this uh particular act um is guided by the bbbe strategy which uh which was implemented by the department of trade and industry so in particularly the the agri be um, charter requires sectors to implement employment equity and to subject their black employees to transformational um, activities such as skills development and company ownership and management right then let's come to the standard format and layout of the farm worker contracts or the labor contracts right so when the farmer employs a new worker or employee a contract must be drawn right and now this contract must comply with the basic conditions of employment act right when with also specific conditions to farm workers which also refer to the um, sectoral determination 13 which is the farm workers sector south africa so now this this particular contract then needs to have these details right the particulars of the employer right so that is the name and the identity number of the farm worker 
or the business name and also the physical address right and the type of um, the business right then the particulars of the employee so these are the name of the employee their residential address the postal address contact phone numbers the next of kin gender identity number academic and professional qualifications work experience and disabilities if any then it must also um, have employment details so these details will vary in different sectors but they include the place of work the date of employment the normal working hours the um, job title the job description and entitlement to holidays and the holiday pay they they should this contract should also include the payment details so this should be the salary or the wage rate the calculation of wages frequency of payment overtime rate if there is any overtime um, rate the other cash payments then also it must include the leave details now this aspect addresses any leave that the workers are entitled to and the terms um, terms about absences due to sickness or even injuries then pension arrangement all matters that relate to pension and pension schemes are described right so notice or contract period and now the type of contract will determine the contract period and also the notice period is required to terminate a contract right um disciplinary procedures so this section will now deal with disciplinary procedures to be taken under various conditions it also deals with breaking the terms of the contract health and safety obligations so this part of the contract outlines the responsibilities and obligations of the employer as contained in occupational health and safety act and the compensation for occupational injuries and disease act then now it's question time let's come to our questions so we've got various questions and um we're gonna start with the short questions then proceed to the longer questions then with question one we've got the multiple choice so question one um various possible answers are provided in the following questions so make sure you have your pen your paper so that you can copy this down um just give the answers only then you can have the questions later once we are done here so you only write the correct letter so the laborers who receive part of their wages in benefits are um, 1a casual workers b permanent workers c holiday workers d seasonal workers so take your time take your time so laborers who receive part of their wages in benefits are the, the correct answer there is b permanent workers because they usually receive they are the ones who usually receive uh, benefits right and then the type of labor that is usually used to have its carrot is a um, permanent labor b peace workers c casual labor d seasonal workers right what is the correct answer the correct answer there is d seasonal workers are the ones that are used at peak um, periods during peak periods right a factor that will not improve labor productivities is a inadequate living conditions b 
B, training. C, planning. D, supervision. I think that one is obvious. A factor that will not improve labor productivity is inadequate living conditions. So the correct answer there is A. Then let's come to question 1.4. The type of labor used to paint um, roofs on the farm is A, permanent labor, B, casual labor, C, contract labor, D, seasonal labor. So obviously we don't paint roofs all the time. So we will need um, a casual labor to do that type of a job. So B is the correct answer. 1.5, which of the following is not an example of a labor legislation? So we have mentioned all the legislation acts. Now, which one is the, is the correct one, right? A, basic conditions of unemployment act. B, Basic Conditions of Employment Act, Labor Relations Act, D, Occupational Health and Safety Act. So which of the following is not an example of labor legislation? The correct answer there is A. Then let's come to question two. So you're going to supply one word or one term for each of the following descriptions. So you're only going to write the term or the word next to the question number. A production factor involving human energy. A production factor involving human energy. So this is management, right? A legally binding agreement between two parties take your time this is called a contract legislation that affects certain factors such as the way a farm business carries carries out activities and the working conditions um, it provides for its labor so this is included in the basic conditions of employment Act, that is the legislation. Then coming to the third question, third and last question, we only have five questions there. Now, answer the following questions. So these are long questions, right? Indicate four problems that are related specifically to labor in agriculture. So we had um, discussed these, some of these problems include uh, poor labor management, the lack of skills, industrial competition, shortages, and scarcity of labor. And another problem that we mentioned was the impact of HIV and AIDS. Name five ways in which a farmer can increase labor productivity. We also discussed this. So I'm going to give you some time. You're going to answer this one on your own. I'm not going to tell you. Then distinguish between seasonal and casual workers on the on the farm. So we have done this. Now take your time, pause this video when you get here. Try to answer this question. And yeah, what is the difference between seasonal workers and casual workers? So you can do this in a tabular form or um, just um, just distinguish using the paragraph form, right? Discuss the current problem in South Africa with regard to the scarcity of labor in agriculture. We have also discussed this. So now you can rewind so that you can refresh your memory or you just try to answer what you can remember, what we have just discussed now. Now, list two important um, reasons for training of laborers. So now, reasons for training labor 
It's either you improve the skills of laborers, you, you create the security regarding their future, and also you improve productivity. So you're going to list any two, right? So if you are asked to list two, list two, right? So make sure you pause when you get to the section. Try and answer the questions honestly and truthfully. Try to test yourself and go back to this recording as many times as you can. Listen to it. Download it if you can. Um, listen to it even if you are washing your dishes, um, cleaning, doing your chores at home. Just try and also, but when you are, when it comes to the question section, try and be as focused as you can so that you can be able to practice to answer the questions the way they come in the exam. Otherwise, that's it from me. Thank you so much for joining me. I wish you all, I wish you all the best. Um, the next um, video for the grade 12s will be capital as a production factor so i will try to do all these um production factors um then we can move to the next topic i know this is a crucial term for you guys and the trial exams are coming up so i wish you all the best Please make sure you subscribe to the channel, leave your comments on the section below, advise me what I can um, um, talk about. And also, if there are other ways that you, you feel I can use in order to diversify and, and also create um, a conducive platform for everyone so please feel free to make those suggestions i'm not promising that i'm gonna take all the suggestions but all the suggestions are welcome otherwise that's it from me thank you so much guys much love love and light